Hello friends. Today our topic is a discussion about impedance data fitting elements in equivalent circuit. That means contribution of an element to total impedance of the system. Okay, let's start. So impedance of a system. Everybody is familiar with impedance. So impedance is a measure of effective resistance of electrical circuit or its component to alternative current. So impedance is a combination of resistive part and reactance part as expressed by J equal to R plus J into X or you can say real part of impedance plus imaginary part of impedance. Here by Z we are representing impedance and R means real part or resistive part and X means the imaginary part or reactance part. So this real part and imaginary part of impedance both are a function of frequency. If you change the frequency they will vary its behavior, they will vary its magnitude. You can vary many parameters to measure the impedance or to see the impedance response of your system for example by changing bias voltage or temperature or illumination of light etc. So suppose you have impedance data for example you can measure your system impedance value using some sophisticated instrument for example Azilan 4294A precision impedance analyzer and you collect data and you plotted real part along the x-axis and imaginary part along the y-axis. So you, now you have scattered plot of your system impedance data. It can look like various shape and size. For example, this may look like one semicircle or two semicircle or three semicircle or one semicircle and in the lower frequency part there is a bend and in the semicircle look like this one or it can look like this that means in higher frequency region there is a it's like straight line and in lower frequency it look like a semicircle or it can look like a depressed semicircle or it can look like an inverted semicircle or it can look like one semicircle and in higher frequency there is a straight line going downwards or it can look like a semicircle and then in the low frequency range there is a straight line behavior or it can look like initially that means low frequency there is a straight line and then another straight line and in high frequency it look like a semicircle or it can look like in lower frequency range there is a straight line and when you are going to high frequency range it will go this look like this this is a straight line and there are many more shapes and size so to get some idea about your system from impedance measurement you have to analyze your data for that you have to fit your data with various circuit elements here we will discuss about various circuit elements and their contribution to total impedance of your system so that it will be easier for you to fit your impedance data okay but now we will discuss about various elements first is resistor so we are denoting it by r and its contribution to impedance is r that is a well known circuit component next is capacitor it is denoted by c and its contribution to impedance is 1 by j omega c here omega is the angular frequency and c is the value of the capacitor so if you want to know more you can see our previous video that various kind types of capacitor or next element is inductor that is l and its contribution to impedance is j omega l here l is the value of the inductor next is 
constant phase element we are denoting it by c p e or q this is a very important element and its contribution to impedance is 1 by p j omega whole to the power alpha where p is a constant and alpha lies in between 0 and 1 so for example if it is in if the value of the alpha is 0 that means 1 by p j omega whole to the power 0 that means 1 by p so it will a pure resistance otherwise if the value of the alpha is 1 then the impedance value is 1 by p j omega whole to the power 1 so it will be like 1 by j p omega so it is a pure capacitor so that means constant phase element is an element that's impedance in between a pure resistor or pure capacitor now next is or bar constant that we are denoting by w and its contribution to impedance is sigma divided by omega to the power 0 0.5 into 1 minus j so it is actually a constant phase element with constant phase of 45 degree and its magnitude is root over 2 divided by root over omega into sigma where sigma is Warburg coefficient next is Gerich chart that we are denoting by g and its contribution to the impedance is 1 by y root over of k plus j into omega where k is the rate constant and the definition of y is the same as the Warburg constant but there are few more elements so that is that we discussed above so these elements are the main elements main circuit elements in impedance spectroscopy above those elements there are few elements those are modified from the above elements for example modified inductor modified garrister etc okay so thank you for watching if you enjoy our video please like and subscribe our channel and if you have any query you can write in the comment box thank you